Hello and welcome back to Run Level Zero. Well folks, after the last review I was looking for something to sink my teeth into that I haven't tried before. So I was perusing DistroWatch, looking at their top 20 over here, and Elementary caught my eye. Now I haven't tried Elementary yet and you know I've, I've read some good reviews on it. It had um, not really caught my interest because at first glance it looked to be just another Ubuntu based OS with a GNOME 3 desktop so I didn't bother really looking at it and I have to tell you after test driving it for the uh, last four days I have come to the conclusion that I have really been doing myself a disservice and so are you if you don't download this distro and give it a try Elementary OS Luna. It is based on Ubuntu 13.04 and it has been extensively tweaked. Uh, this thing had a huge release uh, uh, development leading up to its release. It is available in 32 and 64 bit and what I had thought initially to be just a average run-of-the-mill GNOME 3 desktop is in fact a highly modified and tweaked GNOME 3 desktop that has become its own environment. This is the Pantheon desktop environment. So we're going to take a peek at this. This is one of the one of my favorite uh, desktop environments that I've run to date. Its boot time and shutdown time is about average. It takes 20-30 seconds to boot and shut down. But once you get to that logon screen, which is itself a work of art, and you input your password and hit enter, folks, literally three to four seconds, you have a fully loaded desktop, Wi-Fi connected, ready to go. I've never seen a system log in that fast ever, period. It's, it is ridiculous how fast it is. So let's take a look around and see what you get. The... Luna Desktop, like I said at first glance, looks like GNOME 3 with a quick launch bar. So if you're, if you're used to GNOME, then you're, you're going to find your way around pretty easily. If you're a new user, this would probably make a first a good step out for your, your first more Linuxy, if that's a word, <laughs> desktop environment. Um, so across the top you have your taskbar. In the center, you have a calendar slash clock, and all of your items, you get a really nice little dialogue like this. On the right-hand side, you have your notification area, volume control, network control, battery monitor if applicable. You have your messaging, session manager, and your power options. On the left, you have a really nice menu. Now the menu has two options. It does scroll. This is a more icon driven version. But you also have a more traditional layout where the icons are categorized by their use by their usage. The bar here at the top, you have the option of running uh, commands right here from the the uh, bar so if you wanted to do a sudo app get update you can run it right here I'm not going to do it right now but you can run commands right here from this this bar so I thought that was a pretty nice feature so what comes installed on this system now one of the things I have to point out before diving into this uh, elementary has been in the process of developing their own applications they have their own terminal their own uh, uh, control panel. So and there, there are other things that are under development. So we're going to touch on a couple of those items and let you see what they look like. Uh, you do get an archive manager. You get a calculator. This EDET, uh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, it, this does not come installed but you can install it from the PPA. Um, it is a elementary developed uh, screencasting utility. It shows a lot of promise, but it's not really re ready for distribution yet. Uh, see, I installed multi-system. The 
text editor is Scratch, which you don't see that too often. Scratch is a nice, nice text editor. And you have a screenshot utility. Uh, under graphics, you get shot well and a simple scan utility. For internet, I installed Chrome, but you do get empathy for your messaging. You get Geary Mail, and Midori comes as the default web browser. Under Office, very slim. You only get a calendar and a document viewer. Again, Geary Mail is the mail client. There is no Office suite. Under Sound and Video, of course, I installed Caden Live and record my desktop. But you get a music player, and you get Totem for the movie player. For system tools, you have an access to your file browser, which your, your file manager looks like a modified version of Nautilus. Just some layout differences there. It has a really nice uh, icon theme. I like these icons. We'll leave that open for now. I want to show you something. Uh, let's see. Of course, you got Nepomuk. Uh, Update Manager. Software Center is the Ubuntu Software Center. Your system settings, your control panel here, is uh, a elementary created uh, system setting panel. I like it. I like it a lot. It flows very easy. It's fast. It's responsive. Um, yeah, not not a whole lot to say about it. It is it is a nice control panel. Very well laid out gives you all of your system controls right at your fingertips. Let's see what else we have in here. The terminal. This is Elementary's terminal. <clears throat> Sorry. This is Elementary's terminal. It is a terminal. It does what terminals do, but I'm going to leave it open too. So, those are the applications that you get. You do have a quick launch bar, and the quick launch bar does support drag and drop of icons. You can right click, keep in dock, and I like how it gives you the options automatically. So I just drug uh, Chromium down here. So you can uncheck this to remove it from the dock. You can open a new window, but it has different options available for how you want to launch your application. So it does that by default. You don't have to configure it, which that's a nice, nice option. One of the things that really impressed me about Luna was how fast and, and just really quick to respond it was. I don't know if you've really noticed, you know, let me go ahead and close this down again, but how just how quickly the applications load. Uh, I mean, they, they just launch right now. You know, it's, it's no muss, no fuss. Well, of course, the file manager is already open. But uh, let's let's hit Totem right quick. I mean, look at how quick these things just pop in and out. Now, being based on GNOME 3, you do have virtual desktops, but the virtual desktop manager is not with the, the menu like you may be used to. What you have to do uh, for virtual desktops, you're going to use your super key. If you hit super key down, it'll open up the virtual desktop menu, and you see you get the icons of the applications you have running on the different desktops and you can drag and drop those between the desktops. Super left and right will scroll you between your desktops which has a really nice flipping action. So yeah, I like that. So we'll close this down. There you go. And now if you go into the control panel and take a look at I believe it's desktop Yep. You can control your wallpaper, dock options, and you can control your hot corners. Now these come by default are disabled, but I took my right one, my lower right uh, corner, and activated show all windows. So now when I tap my lower right corner, you get the nice expo mode, and you have the option of closing windows right from here and changing focus. You can also opt to when you tap the corner, run a custom command. So that's pretty neat. All told, guys and girls, I am thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with Elementary OS Luna. This is a lightning fast, responsive desktop that 
is just ready to go out of the box. Being based on Ubuntu, you know it's going to have support. And I'm really excited to see where they're going to take this in the future. Um, yeah, quit doing yourself a disservice. Download Luna. Give it a try. Uh, let me know what you think. You know, we're running different systems. Some users' mileage may vary. So if you run into a bad experience, please leave it in the comments below, uh, along with the type of computer you're using, your hardware and all, so that others in, your, in a similar boat, you know, maybe they can benefit from your experience. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, thanks for joining me. Oh, yeah, and I meant to say, for my friend Darren, yes, this is a very robust, robust, robust desktop environment. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Run Level Zero. I hope to be with you again soon for another video.